I am speed. I'm Walt Disney. Look, I know we want to see Need for Speed Underground, but I don't have that yet. So I'm over the next closest thing. We're talking about Disney's Cars. The game. Hmm. It's like an open world GTA style story with mini games beyond the eye can see and many races to explore featuring off-road, monster truck, and even NASCAR. So with that being said, let's just strap on our seatbelts, become a car, and hit the road. After the events of the movie Cars, remember when I helped King cross the finish line because his tires blew out, allowing my rival Chick Hicks to take all the glory? How could we forget? It's now in my hands or wheels to rise back up to the top. The game starts off hot in the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. A nice little race between me and my good pals. And right away I was cruising. And to make a long story short, I pretty much won by a mile. But it was only just a dream. Wake up! Yeah, I was dreaming about a race. So Mac, my transporter, says, Listen, brother, we got a piston cup to win here. But you need to up your reputation before that's even possible. Pretty much saying I fell off. They just don't let anybody with four wheels race for the piston cup, you know. Now what better way to start than seek the guidance of a real OG? We're talking about the legendary Doc Hudson. The Hudson Hornet. He shows me the secrets to off-road racing, featuring the amazing power slide. The most important maneuver in the entire game, you pretty much do it all the time. Good run! And after completing the training, we spot rival Kingpin Chick Hicks lurking in the shadows. Seems to be scouting me to get an upper hand. I'll deal with him later. Well, I'm sure you'll be seeing each other soon. Okay. With my training for the day complete, it's time to have some fun. So I scurry on over to the junkyard to meet up with my friend Mater. Psst, Mater! Feeling a bit mischievous, I recommend we go tractor tipping. Let's go tractor tipping! <laughs> so we wait until nightfall to infiltrate the barnyard facility. This will increase our chances of not getting caught by Big Frank and his spotlights and his zipping around motions. We partake in this criminal activity for so long that I'm starting to feel corrupted. So we leave, but the night isn't over yet. Mater then teaches me how to drive backwards, which is a pretty cool maneuver. I don't know how helpful it is, but it's cool. Although the constant rotations are tearing up my tires. That means I have to go meet up with the tire plug, Luigi. You need a new tire, yes? But we run into a problem. Well, I've seen a lot of hubcaps and tires lying by the side of the road outside of town. Tires? On the ground? It seems the cartel has interfered with Luigi's shop and scattered his inventory all over the desert. So I take Luigi on a quest to find his missing tires. Now, let me be clear. This seemed like a walk in the park. A frolic through the flowers, rather. Until things got wild. You see, I had to drive to the outskirts to get the final tires, and time was running out. So I had to turn on the afterburners to finish the mission. Guido! Look at Luigi! He won! Now with that being done, I only had one question. How can such a little guy move with such force? He tells me, keep it on the low, but go see Fillmore down the street. He has a special product for you. Hey, Fillmore, what's cooking? Methamphetamine. And with this product having a 99.1% purity, I was able to speed past the opposition and launch myself to heights that I could have never imagined. What an advantage this is. He says I can come back whenever I need more. Fill up on this batch and I'll just keep brewing it for you. Thanks. Which is great, except for the fact that the sheriff witnessed everything that went down. Keeping cool, sheriff? Nope. So I had to talk myself into a deal. I tell him, listen, we'll race through the desert. If I lose, I get thrown in the brig. But if I win, he'll let me off much easier. I'll take your challenge, boy. And based off this police chase mission, I know I'm dealing with a fast guy here. The thing is, he didn't realize I still had the boost in my system. So like I expected, I dusted him. Like all the knickknacks in Mr. Krabs' house. You dusted all my knickknacks! Get out of here! <laughs> He's not too happy about losing, but instead of prison time, I'm sent to Sarda's boot camp to really straighten out my behavior. You're in my army now, son. Get down on your wheels and kiss the ass goodbye. Now this is the real stuff right here. So many obstacles to avoid and jumps to hit. You could have called me nail polish the, the way I was on my toes during this. This is my personal favorite, by the way. It was cool. Although I avoided jail time, I'm sure the feds are still keeping a close eye on me. So to be safe, I'm going to switch territories to further my progress into this life of crime, or Road to the Piston Cup winner. And as we all know, with new territory comes new challenges, and it seems the cool guy gang isn't too happy about me driving on their turf. Sorry, Chief. 
Roads closed. Get lost, pal. Three laps ought to settle this. So I offer them a race to prove I'm on par with their standards. And let me tell you, this track is a lot of fun. A lot of cool scenic views to look at. And the other half of the track had me feeling like I wasn't allowed to buy cigarettes because I'm a miner, because I'm in a mine. That was the worst thing I ever said. All right! Woo! With an astounding victory, the boys then give me the level two product. Boost tank. And now I have some street cred that will help me climb this proverbial ladder of reputation. Let's bounce! Now I can't let my head get too big because I haven't even considered rival gangs yet. Ones that wouldn't even have to prove anything to get into the salty spittoon. I'm talking about Count Spatula and the boys. You can't hide from us! <laughs> and they want to take me on in a monster truck rally. So to compete with these scummy pieces of f***ing rag I'm gonna need some suspension for my boy Luigi. We're all high in the air now, so it's time to head to the rust bucket arena to begin the rally. And as a newcomer to this type of racing, I held my own. I struggled the majority of the race, but towards the end, I got into second place only behind the leader, Count Spatula himself. I'm becoming certified in these streets. That was funny. What'd you say, puny but it's not all sunshine and oranges where we're at. While I was gone, Mac went off on a supply run because we're about to start our business. And the cool guy gang doesn't like that I now outrank their street level prowess. So they get together to pull off one of the biggest heists imaginable. One where they must make sure nobody even knows what happened. Mac's getting pretty sleepy on the road, so a music guy pulls up to play a sweet lullaby to put him out completely. Jesus is a friend of mine. Oh, that's nice. Then the silver guy gets big air to land on top, busting the back door wide open. Okay, I'm good. Good time, Wingo. On my way. That allows Green Spoiler Guy to scoop up all the loot flying out, but watch out for hazards. Got the goods. I'm ghost. All tied together with the sneeze guy rolling up to wake Mac back up to make sure he feels bad about himself. Oh, no. Meanwhile, the sheriff and I are on good terms now. I'm not going to tell you how that happened because I don't even know. And he tells me about the incident. Bad news, son. Somehow a gang stole all of your gear from his trailer. And I won't stand for this. So I zoom off to the rescue. Yeah. All I have to do is catch up with the bad guys and just hit them to collect the loot. And I've played too much GTA to not know how to weave in and out of cars. Even though when you hit the cars head on, they kind of just fly out of the way. <laughs> You never know where lightning will strike. And then these gentlemen get incarcerated. We'll see what Doc Hudson has to say about this. And one of them spills the beans and says that Chick Hicks hired them for top dollar. Yeah, some green race car. He had a mustache. Ah, Chick. That's enough. I think it's time to defeat him. Time to pack up and head to the LA Grand Prix. This is it, Mac. Which also means we're gonna drop the whole criminal plot here. It may flare up again in the future, but we get to the race and it's pretty cool. You wouldn't believe how I was able to drive around in a circle so well. The way I was able to position myself on the outside and then maneuver back to the inside. It's insane. It's crazy. This isn't everything though, because you can't roll out the wear and tear of such a vigorous event. Good thing I have the best pit stop man west of the Mississippi. He's able to fix me up faster than a whole crew of construction workers doing a remodeling job on somebody's house that they were contracted to do for a certain amount of money and time period. Now we're all fixed up and clean, so we're sent off to the ultimate victory. Chick Hicks is now dethroned, and now I'm a cool race guy. So the gang and I get together to move on from Radiator Springs and into wherever Cars 2 and 3 takes place. So. You be careful out there, son. Now there's a lot more missions that I didn't even mention because they didn't really fit into my fake storyline. So I want to mention some other things. There's a whole romantic quest line where you and your lady take on scenic views and race each other. It's cute. You can race as Mater in the Rust Bucket O-Rama, which is fine. And I even left out the main story of me racing Chick Hicks on every single racetrack around the game. There's also cool unlocks you can get by using points you earn during the story mode. And I beat all of it at once, so I really never backed out to the menu to even buy anything but uh here's all the paint jobs i could have possibly had Ooh, that's a good one. Oh wow that's cool hey that's pretty rad now that's a stylish car now that's a shiny finish whoa that's insane that looks like a cigarette you could also buy king which is my favorite car in the game one of the top legends of in all of what just happened amazon prime just dropped me off um a sex doll. Anyway, that's about it for me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my fake storyline that wasn't even that coherent, Thank you. And like always, thank you so much for the love and support I get every video. This has been a Disney Pixar's Cars The Game video. And that's what it for me. I think I'm gonna get hit by a bunch of oncoming traffic. 